9 on your side at 9 starts now. Thanks for tuning in to Fox 9 on your side. And we have a packed show for you tonight, including, of course, complete coverage of Governor Otter's State of the State address. But first, of course, we must start with the weather. Mother Nature making a mess of yeah. things today. We have live team coverage for you tonight. Matt King will join us with a look at those nasty road conditions in just a moment. But first, Steve Liebenthal is here joining us from the Weather Center with the latest. Steve. And temperatures dropping now in the Treasure Valley. It kind of depends on where you are, what the temperature is. We are not out of the inversion yet here in the Treasure Valley when a storm system comes in that's usually what we hope for but we need to get some winds in order for that to happen the winds at the Boise Airport right now at five miles per hour we're going to need them to pick up a little bit more than that before the inversion breaks completely which I believe it will it's going to take a day or two for that to happen the temperature at the Boise Airport again 21 degrees we have mostly cloudy skies but we are pretty much done with the snow for now radar returns coming in showing just a few little little blips here and there and I really don't think this is any snow that's falling these are just some false returns coming into radar so we are done with the snow for now but that does not mean that we're done with the trouble that is being caused by that snow that's going to be a problem for tonight and tomorrow morning but eventually a warm front that is responsible for these showers is going to bring milder conditions in from the south that means our temperatures will be on the rise and tomorrow afternoon we'll see the warmest temperatures that we have seen so far this year. That's good news for us. I'll tell you more about that coming up in just a few minutes. All right. Thank you, Steve. Well, between Ada and Canyon counties, crash totals today nearly in the triple digits. Saw a few of them uh, myself yes. driving on the interstate today. Crews say roads remain slick but should improve by tomorrow. And Matt King is live in Nampa with our story. Yeah, Roland, Michelle, the shifts for those crews out there keeping those roads as clean as they can, those shifted over at around 7 o'clock tonight. So the team that's on now plans to work straight through the night into the morning and hopes that tomorrow sees less snow than today. Well, our crews have been very busy. A lot of ground to cover. We are looking at a very busy night. Be safe. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Franco Vuitone braved crowded, snowy back roads to shop for groceries. Kind of crazy. Of the 2,200 miles of roadway the Ada County Highway District maintains, Franco seemed pretty confident he'd found none of them. Had one lady almost slide into me. Crews did treat roads with de-icer before the morning commute, then switched to sand and salt once snow began to accumulate and plan to keep every piece of maintenance equipment in use throughout the night, giving priority, as always, to hills, hospitals, and schools. We can't be everywhere at once, so we hope that people are patient with us. Franco offered advice not for those caring for the roads, but instead those using them. You gotta watch the braking. <laughs> gotta feather the brake, you know. Drive slow and don't be in a hurry. And if you can stay home, stay home. And if you absolutely have to go somewhere, maybe just walk. Hopefully, if you're watching this now, you're probably done with driving for the night. But those crews that are out there tonight say even though with everything that they're going to get done tonight, hope to get done tonight, they do expect tomorrow morning's commute to be pretty slick. If you're worried about school closures, you can check those out on our website, IdahoOnYourSide.com. Live in Nampa, Matt King, Fox 9 on your side. We citizens of Idaho have the opportunity and indeed the obligation to chart a path forward reflecting our independence, our self-reliance and our love of liberty. Governor Otter touching the Idaho's fierce independent spirit during today's State of the State address. The governor made reference several times to how the state is better qualified than the federal government to handle everything from health insurance to managing natural resources. But when it comes to other issues facing Idaho, like education, the economy, even nuclear waste, the future looks not so good. Roland has much more from inside the State House. Well, Michelle, State of the State speeches are usually pretty slim on specifics, but this speech today by the governor seemed to go back and forth between priorities and somewhat vague statements about what to do about them. We like the veil of snow obscuring the Capitol, the governor's State of the State seemed to slip back and forth between clarity and opaqueness. The governor says, Like you, my highest priority remains public schools. But in the very next sentence, I am neither calling for nor expecting major school improvement measures this year. The governor recognized his predecessor, Governor Phil Batt, who attended the speech, and he took time to focus on one of Batt's top accomplishments. I am as committed as ever to enforcing the terms of our 1995 agreement with the federal government to get all nuclear waste out of Idaho by 2035. 
But in virtually the next statement, he defends his leadership in the Nuclear Energy Commission, saying it may be vital in an uncertain future. But the Yucca Mountain facility in Nevada may never open, leaving fulfillment of the agreement at the mercy of the Fed's failure to secure a permanent waste repository. That, quite frankly, leaves the matter of preparing for an uncertain future to us. One thing the governor was clear on was his intention to seek a state-based health insurance exchange under Obamacare. At its core, this is a matter of states' rights. It's a position that's unpopular with many in his own party who want nothing to do with Obamacare. But the fact remains that for now and for the foreseeable, foreseeable future, it is the law. And as responsible elected officials, we are sworn to uphold the rule of law, not just those laws that we support. Now, the governor's health exchange proposal is expected to meet steep opposition from several lawmakers within his own party. Some conservative Republicans in our legislature are hostile to setting up any kind of exchange and want to defy the federal mandate under Obamacare, while other lawmakers believe a state-based system is best for all Idahoans. I've always agreed with the governor on this. We need, to, we need to preserve our state sovereignty as much as we can, and we're going to do that best by keeping control of the exchange itself by, by using the state exchange. So you, I think on a cost basis, when you analyze the cost of premiums sold through the exchange, if it's mixed and pooled on a national basis, Idaho policyholders lose. Rushi has argued for a state exchange since the beginning of last session. Michelle? Well, education reform has already gone from the state house to the voting booth, and now it seems it's headed to the courts. A Meridian grandfather and former Nampa school superintendent is suing to try and stop school fees. But his fight isn't just against one district. He's taking on the entire legislature, and he sat down exclusively with me to discuss the fee fight. Enough is enough, Idaho. Russell Jokey never wants to pay another dime to a public K-12 school again. And he's suing the entire education system, from the state to school superintendent Tom Luna to every single district to try and stop schools from charging fees. It is also a form of segregation and discrimination. The former local superintendent became fed up after forking over $175 in fees this fall for his three grandchildren. The cash covered things like chemistry class, junior dues, art supplies, and snacks. We believe that no family uh, should be humiliated when they go to a public school and hope to enroll with the expectation that it's supposed to be free. Jokey's lawsuit takes on more than just school fees. He's even asking the courts to do away with back-to-school supply lists. You take your kids shopping, and you take them shopping for a new set of school clothes, maybe a new, set of, new pair of shoes, and then you might think, well, a notebook or a pencil or a pen, that should get them started, but then you receive the supply list. And it's a full page, isn't it? It was a full page for us. And we think that it's, uh, it's gone too far there. Isn't this a way, school fees, for schools to be able to at least dig out a little bit from this hole, this funding hole? That's the hole that's being dug into the pockets of parents. Jokey claims school fees violate the state constitution, specifically Article 9, which reads, it shall be the duty of the legislature of Idaho to establish and maintain a general, uniform, and thorough system of public, free, common schools. One thing uh, this lawsuit's doing, if it does nothing else, it's publicizing the problem. Former state Supreme Court Justice Bob Huntley is Jokey's attorney. He's also sued the state over school funding before and won. In a 2005 decision, the Idaho Supreme Court wrote, the current funding system is simply not sufficient to carry out the legislature's duty under the Constitution. But the judicial branch never forced the legislative one to find a solution. Huntley thinks Jokey's case may finally do just that. What do you say to people who worry that by bringing another lawsuit on the school districts themselves, you're hurting education. You're taking money out of the pot. The fact is that uh, in, the ca in, the ca in the case of relative to these fees, uh, we are asking that the legislature pay uh, adv additional appropriations and not take it out of the school districts. Secondly, uh, 
we are in this lawsuit pointing out the fact that education is being underfunded and uh, to the extent that that uh, results in the legislature finally appropriating more money, uh, we will in the long run have netted the school district some money. Huntley argues current education funding just doesn't add up for schools. And Jokey knows from experience the pressure that can place on parents' wallets. And it's reached a point where it has to stop. Jokey says he'll do whatever it takes, even taking this case to the state Supreme Court to hold legislators accountable to students. The lawsuit does not propose a specific solution to funding schools, stating that the Constitution clearly gives that duty to the legislature. But Jokey does want school fees to stop immediately and for schools to return an estimated $2 million that parents paid out just this school year. I contacted the Attorney General's office for comment. All they would tell me is that the AG has filed a motion to dismiss the case, arguing any lawsuit like this must first start with a suit against the person's own school district. I'll continue to follow this story for you. Of course, we always want to hear from you. What do you think of this lawsuit? Should parents have to shell out for academic fees? You can join the conversation at Idaho On Your Side on Facebook. A man is shot by a Canyon County deputy near Nampa, an investigation that involves two police departments. Police say a deputy fired a shot. They hit the man at his home off of Airport Road and Brent Lane last night. And that's near the airport of Nampa, the Nampa Airport, but just outside city limits. They had been called to the home after reports of a suicidal person. The gentleman came out of the house with a rifle in his hands. Um, Numerous commands were given for the gentleman to drop the weapon. He did not drop the weapon. Um, shots were fired. The man underwent surgery for what's being described as serious wounds. Police say they found several weapons inside the home. Coming up next on Fox 9 On Your Side, President Obama threw out the names of two more potential cabinet members today, but their confirmation is far from certain. And still ahead, some of the nation's biggest banks will soon be shelling out cash for wrongly kicking people out of foreclosed homes. Roland Ferris. Michelle Edmonds, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval, Sports with Paul Gerke. This is Fox 9 on your side at 9. Weather is brought to you by Steve's Hometown Toyota. Try Steve's Hometown Toyota in Ontario. I crushed it all day, and then it asked me what I was doing, and I told it that I was crushing it. Fox Tuesday. Ready. Yeah. Set. Are you wearing arm garters? When I do office accounting, Danny, I try to look the part. Go. Turn on your TV, because New Girl and the Mindy Project are going to blow your comedy star minds. Glad you're keeping your expectations at a reasonable level. The new year sounds better already. You know how long it took me to get rid of my Boston accent? A wicked long time, you fought knocker. All new episodes return this Tuesday on Fox. Natural Grocers bringing you affordable prices, great customer service, and no artificial additives. At Natural Grocers, we sell only natural and organic foods. Natural Grocers and Health Crusader looking out for you. Let your inner desire direct you to a delectable $1 deal of outright unequivocal delight. Because any size icy cold Coca-Cola soft drink or sweet tea is just a dollar. The simple joy of pursuing happiness. I'm Health Crusader and every day I take my vitamin D. Vitamin D helps support a healthy immune system. Have you guys had your vitamin D today? Yes! Natural Grocers and Health Crusader looking out for you. You're watching Fox 9 on your side at 9. President Obama is filling out his second-term national security roster with a pair of controversial picks whose confirmation is anything but secure. Fox News correspondent Wendell Gohler has more right now in America. These two leaders have dedicated their lives to protecting our country. I am confident they will do an outstanding job. 
I urge the Senate to confirm them as soon as possible. But moderate Chuck Hagel's selection drew more criticism than praise from fellow Republican senators, and the choice of John Brennan threatened to raise questions about waterboarding and other enhanced interrogation techniques that he didn't want to answer when he was first considered for the CIA post four years ago. The twice-decorated Hagel, Mr. Obama said, would be an outspoken advocate for servicemen and women during and after their tours of duty. And Hagel's business experience, Mr. Obama suggested, will help him prioritize Pentagon spending cuts that everyone knows are coming. He also knows that even as we make tough fiscal choices, we have to do so wisely, guided by our strategy, and keep our military the strongest fighting force the world has ever known. But Hagel's history drew immediate fire. For liberals, it was a 14-year-old comment about a U.S. diplomat being openly and aggressively gay, for which Hegel has apologized. For Republicans, it was his opposition to the war in Iraq and the troop surge largely credited with securing the gains, his boast of independence from what he called the Jewish lobby, and calls for talks with Hezbollah, all of which led South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham to call it an in-your-face nomination and left the number two Republican senator frankly skeptical. And I think mean that uh, the president has much better choices he could make as Secretary of Defense than to choose somebody who really fails when it comes to the, the number one security issue, namely a nuclear Iran. President Obama praised John Brennan's tireless work as his counterterrorism director. One of the reporters asked him, uh, don't you ever get any downtime? And John said, uh, I don't do downtime. <laughs> Brennan will face questions about acknowledging U.S. drone strikes against al-Qaeda leaders, though that criticism might be more properly directed at the president, who almost certainly made the call. Republicans may also use the confirmation hearings to question Brennan about the attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, though his focus is on terrorist threats in this country. In 2008, Brennan withdrew his name from consideration as CIA director rather than answer questions about waterboarding and other enhanced interrogation techniques he privately told Mr. Obama he opposed. Arizona Senator John McCain says he still has questions about what role Brennan played in enhanced interrogation and why he publicly seemed to support it, and he intends to ask those questions. McCain, a former prisoner of war who was tortured himself in Vietnam, is a longtime critic of waterboarding. At the White House, Wendell Goler, Fox News. Grizzly details emerged today in the Aurora, Colorado movie theater shooting. And the man behind the attack went before a judge. Families were warned testimony would be graphic certainly was. Two police officers broke into tears during their testimony while describing the scene when they first got there. The suspect, James Holmes, sat emotionless. A father of one of the victims said it's difficult to describe his feelings surrounding the suspect. Took a glimpse at him there. I don't, I don't feel hate or, 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 or anger toward him. I just don't feel anything toward him. I really don't. It's hard to explain. It really is. I mean, part of me want to rip his head off and part of me just... I, I care less for him. I really do. Last year's series of tragic mass shootings has the gun control debate in full swing. President Obama created a task force to take on gun violence, and its agenda is starting to take shape. We're going to take a closer look at that story a little bit later in the newscast. American homeowners could receive money back from some of the biggest names in banking, and it's part of a settlement on claims that they wrongfully foreclosed on millions of homeowners during the mortgage crisis. Those homeowners should have been allowed to stay in their homes. The settlement comes after banks mishandled people's paperwork and skipped required steps in the foreclosure process. Fox Business correspondent Adam Shapiro has more. Ten banks, J.P. Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and Citigroup, just to name a few, will pay $3.3 billion directly to eligible homeowners and another $5.2 billion in other assistance to homeowners in trouble. At the core of all this, roughly 4.4 million American homeowners who were subject to what regulators call foreclosure abuse. That included veterans who were put out of their homes while serving overseas. There's a $125,000 cap for homeowners who were wronged. And that's something the National Consumer Law Center and the National Fair Housing Alliance say is unfair. They issued a statement saying, and this is a quote, the capped pool of cash payments is wholly inadequate in light of the scale of the harm. But financial analysts say future borrowers 
could benefit from the settlement. We've changed the way the business works. All of the banks, all of the servicers, including firms like mine, have an explicit duty of care to borrowers now. When you get the borrower on the phone, if they're delinquent, you have to go through all the options before you even think about foreclosure. Home builders and real estate professionals are counting on the settlement to boost the country's housing market recovery. The key to a uh, strong recovery is bank lending. And right now, bank lending is pretty constrained. This will right. help ease it up. In fact, it's easing up already. And one key provision of the settlement that consumer advocates truly like, homeowners who are part of the settlement can still sue their banks. For more on this story, log on to foxbusiness.com. In New York, I'm Adam Shapiro. Coming up next on Fox 9, we're headed back over to the Weather Center. Steve Liebenthal is working on his complete changing on your side forecast. And now tonight's Pump Patrol head to the Maverick on Federal Way to fill up for $2.84 a gallon. And to find the cheapest gas in your neighborhood, go to IdahoOnYourSide.com and click on the Features tab. Pump Patrol brought to you by Mountain Home Auto Ranch, where we do business a better way. Exit 95 Mountain Home. Your best price on every vehicle at MHAutoRanch.com. Ford, Lincoln, Dodge, Jeep, Chrysler, and Ram truck, mhautoranch.com. On the next two and a half men, you may be a head case. Either one of you guys got an ice pick? But both brothers are head over heels. <laughs> on two and a half men, weeknights at 10 on Fox 9. What's going on? Our two free on your site apps will tell you wherever you go with news, sports, streaming video, and Idaho's most advanced weather app. Both apps are free when you search Idaho on your site in your app store. From today, six at Fox 9 on your side. Now at your neighborhood subway, the big hot pastrami melt. We perfected the pastrami sandwich filled with hot, juicy pastrami, pickles, yellow mustard, and bubbly melted cheese. All piled high on our signature freshly baked bread, made hot, toasty, and just for you. And don't be afraid to put your spin on this deli-style deliciosity. Add your favorite ingredients, like spicy jalapenos or crisp green peppers. Get to your local subway and taste some perfect pastrami today. Subway. Eat fresh. Ask me. Why not talk to someone who owns an adjustable version of the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about my Temper Advanced Ergo. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Traffic is backed up on Highway 23. This is 30 minutes. You'll never get back. Things are finally moving on 23. Good workout, Mike. Hundreds of sofas on sale now at Farmer Furniture. Now the On Your Side forecast with Steve Liebenthal. And indeed, that forecast is ever-changing. Huge changes for us today. Finally, some precipitation coming into the valley, and now another change. Precipitation dying off. Our clouds are dying off as well. Still some clouds over the central mountains. A chance of some scattered showers remaining here. And all of these showers forming along a warm front. The unfortunate part is that the change that we're all hoping for, which is the break of the inversion, is not happening quite as quickly here in the valley as we would hope it would, but it will eventually. We're 21 degrees right now in Boise, 23 right now in McCall, 5 mile per hour wind at the Boise Airport. Winds are really blowing down in the Magic Valley. Look at the temperature in Twin Falls right now. It's 38 degrees there, about 20 degrees warmer than it was at this time yesterday. But with the wind chill, it feels like 19 degrees. Feels like 17 right now in Boise with that 5 mile per hour wind. And speaking of snow, here's what happened at Bogus Basin today. Just under 3 inches of fresh powder, looking much better at Brundage. Mountain, five inches of new snow coming out of this storm system. Likely to see a dusting in the mountains overnight tonight, but that's going to be about it for now. The warm front 
right here responsible for the showers that we had. It's also going to be responsible for some milder air finally coming into the picture and warming things up for us. There's that warm front. There's the milder air we're expecting to come into the picture. It's not going to last very long, though, because of a big trough that's going to move in from the north. The jet stream will dive way to the south of us on Thursday. That's going to allow more cold air to come back into the picture. And with that cold air, the chance of some showers in this time of year when you get the cold cold air combined with showers that means more snow so we could see more snow coming up later in the week in the meantime tomorrow's afternoon highs will be the warmest temperatures we have had so far this year but early tomorrow morning it will still be slick out on those roadways especially those that have not yet been treated as slick right now in many places and that's going to remain the case tomorrow afternoon highs mostly in the upper 30s in Boise we're expecting to get up to 41 degrees in the west central mountains some snow showers possible with less than an inch of additional accumulation over the Boise Mountains any showers that you see by tomorrow afternoon likely to be a mix of rain and snow as those afternoon highs hit the 40s there as well in the West Central Mountains up around McCall temperatures ranging from the low 30s to the middle 30s East Central Mountains could see a few snow showers again over the next 24 hours but less than an inch hitting the ground 31 for the afternoon high in Stanley after a morning low of 17 that's warm compared to the morning lows we've been seeing there for the last week uh, well below zero have been the readings that is not the case anymore down in the magic valley that breeze that i'm talking about really changing things our afternoon high in twin falls tomorrow at 38 that's the temperature that we're seeing now a temperature likely to drop a little bit over the next several hours and then rebound right back into the upper 30s here is the on your side extended forecast Mild temperatures, comparatively speaking, tomorrow with an afternoon high of 41. That's about 4 degrees warmer than average for the date. Wednesday morning, I think, will stay above freezing, so the melting will continue even milder in the afternoon with a high of 43 degrees, and then the cold air comes back in from the north, brings a chance of showers, 40% chance of snow on Thursday with a high of 29. We'll have cold air going into the weekend, but not as a result of inversion, which is good, mm, which is good news. It's kind of manic weather, isn't it? Uh, Up yeah. and down and all over the place. Welcome to Idaho. Yeah. That's it. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> right. All right. Well, as Washington churns over new gun control measures, Americans are rushing to stores and gun shows. All over the country. We've shown it to you right here in the Treasure Valley. Background checks for sales of firearms have hit a record pace. John Joe's reports. People are racing to buy the weapons they fear they one day might not be able to get. We've um, probably seen, I would say, at least a 50% increase in sales. Um, our assault rifles, ARs, AKs, um, have all, all doubled um, in sales. Meanwhile, over at the White House, the administration is looking to a working group of experts led by Vice President Biden to come up with better ideas to reduce crimes committed with guns. You have a much more holistic view of how to deal with violence in our, on our streets and in our country. Officials who were inside the first working group meeting describe it as a brainstorming session that went far beyond talk of renewing the so-called assault weapons ban that was enacted during the Clinton administration. The officials said they talked about banning high-capacity magazines, improving mental health checks for people who are purchasing weapons, bolstering the federal background check system for gun purchasers, including closing the loophole that allows many purchasers at gun shows to avoid background checks altogether. Also, a national gun registry and improving tracking of ammunition sales. Dan Gross, who is president of the Brady campaign to prevent gun violence, has had conversations with the White House. I would be fairly confident that the uh, the task force is, based on what the president's been saying um, that alone, that the task force is committed to exploring um, more broad solutions than just, um, than just an assault weapons ban. On Capitol Hill, some of the ideas go even further. The Democratic senators from New York want tough new gun trafficking laws. We have thousands of laws, but effectively none of them are focused on preventing someone from Virginia from driving up to New York City, parking their car in a parking lot, and selling illegal firearms out of the back of his truck to criminals. But the question is whether advocates of gun rights on the Hill and the voters who sent them to Congress will stand for it. I don't think the federal government has any business having a list of law-abiding citizens who choose to exercise their right to keep and bear arms. 
And the top Republican in the Senate points out that Congress already has a full agenda to last well into the new year. Uh, clearly, we'll not be addressing that issue early because spending and debt are going to dominate the first uh, three months. But there seems to be a middle ground. There are some gun owners who say certain people should not have guns. I'm all for trying to um, weed out the individuals that shouldn't have them that make the rest of us look bad, um, and, and I'm definitely for that. But in the same sense, uh, I don't think we should just, you know, ban everybody from owning a specific type of firearm. New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg weighed in on the issue today, calling for across-the-board criminal background checks for gun sales. Bloomberg says there's a loophole because right now background check laws only apply to gun dealers, not to guns sold over the Internet or by private individuals at gun shows. Coming up tonight on Fox 9 on your side, flu season is gearing up earlier than usual, and now experts say not even those with a flu shot are always immune. Furniture Row's 2013 New Year's Blowout. What is going on now? Get this five-piece group for only $24.98 plus a free 60-inch HD TV. Register to win 2013 Super Bowl tickets and for a limited time, get no interest for five years. Four source, one location. Furniture Row. There's only one city on Earth where you can find this much fun, this much excitement, this many different things to do. Allegiant introduces new non-stop flights to Las Vegas. Just go to Allegiant.com to book your flight, hotel, and car rental package. It's Vegas, baby. And when it comes to Vegas, you need to stick with a sure bet. Allegiant will get you there with nonstop flights and low, low fares. Thanks to Allegiant, you don't have to spend like a high roller to feel like one. Allegiant. Travel is our deal. Looks like lunch just got a little de crazy. You're telling me for just $5, you get a quarter pound grill burger topped with melted cheese, delicious DQ fries like golden rays of sunshine, a tall, cool drink bubbling with bubbles, and the one of a kind mini blizzard to top it off? Maybe somebody should pinch me. Not too hard, though. The $5 meal deal. That's a lot of food for just $5. And try one of these delicious Orange Julius premium fruit smoothies. The Denver Mattress 2013 New Year's Blowout is going on now. For a limited time, get no interest for five years and register to win 2013 Super Bowl tickets. Plus, save up to $400 during the Temper Ergo Collection Savings Event. Denver Mattress, a Tempur-Pedic Elite retailer in the Furniture Row Shopping Center. Idaho's number one volume Subaru dealer, Larry H. Miller Subaru, invites you to explore Idaho. Whether you're heading to the mountains, kayaking the river, or going cycling, we've got the deals and a huge selection of new Subarus to get you there. Come test drive the new 2012 Subaru Impreza that gets up to 36 miles per gallon, or the luxury of a fuel-efficient Subaru Legacy. Drive off in an award-winning Outback or Forester. Shop as first or shop as last at Larry H. Miller Subaru, driven by you. BoiseSubaru.com for Emmy Award-winning news coverage. Watch Fox 9 on your side at 9. Oh, it's a rite of passage for new parents. Uh -huh. Remember the days? Certainly do. Yeah, those late-night wake-up calls by the little ones. Oh, uh, I know, and you're pulling your hair out. But new research <laughs> suggests that it would be better for your newborn if you just let them cry it out. And it's our top story in Fox Fitness right now. All right, listen to this. Researchers studied sleep patterns of 1,200 babies ranging from 6 to 36 months. Parents were asked about their children's awakenings at four points during the survey. A third of babies woke up at least once a night, but eventually grew out of that pattern. That's the good news. Study authors say parents who go to their babies during those awakenings may actually prevent the child from learning how to self-soothe soothe, which is a critical part of learning a regular sleep schedule. So we all know stress is hazardous to our health, right? It can lead to early aging, heart problems, sleeplessness, even death. If your workplace is a key stress causer in your life, maybe your career change is in order. A recent survey by CareerCast outlines the least stressful positions. So number one on the list, college professor. That surprises mm -hmm. me, with a median salary of $62,000 and low health risks. That's pretty tough to beat. Next up, a seamstress or tailor. And coming in third, medical records technician. And then journalist. Um, yeah, it's way down there. So. Okay. <laughs> the flu season usually peaks at the end of this month. A spike in cases as doctors talking about the earliest start of the season in a decade. Yeah, it's been quite a while. And as Mary Snow reports tonight, some are finding that even some who got the flu shot this year are falling victim to the virus. Flu cases have jumped so dramatically at Boston's Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, the hospital plans to open an additional unit for patients. 
Bracing for winter weeks still to come, doctors are considering other actions. We are evaluating whether we are going to need to take other special measures such as screening visitors to the institution, screening employees as measures to try and control the uh, or better understand the volume of influenza in the hospital. Massachusetts is just one of 41 states reporting widespread flu cases. Health officials report a higher number of people needing to be hospitalized with symptoms ranging from fever and coughing to muscle aches. So far, the CDC has tracked at least 2,200 hospitalizations and 18 deaths among children linked to the flu. The death of a 17-year-old Texas boy has prompted family and friends to urge others to get flu shots. I'm the first one to say I, my family doesn't get the flu shot, but we will, and we will advocate that from now on. The push to get vaccinated is one echoed by Dr. Robert Glatter at New York's Lenox Hill Hospital. He says the emergency room there is seeing an uptick in flu cases, but he warns it includes some people who did get the flu shot. The fact that some people are getting sick even though they've gotten vaccinated, does that mean that the vaccine isn't working? No, it, it doesn't mean that at all. Uh, in, in generally, in, in a proportion of, or in the population, a number of people will still contract the flu virus even though they've been vaccinated. Doctors also note that it takes two weeks for a flu shot to take full effect. The Centers for Disease Control is suggesting those who have severe flu symptoms or are at risk of serious flu-related symptoms could also take antiviral medication. As for why this year the flu is so much stronger, Officials can't say for sure. One possible reason is because one of the viruses that is circulating in the United States is this H3N2 virus. This influenza virus has been linked to um, seasons in the past that have been severe. So we think that they, that may be one of the reasons why we're seeing so much activity right now. Still ahead on Fox 9 on your side, the federal government's taking to the skies to test its readiness for a potential terrorist attack. We're going to show you what it's looking for. Valley Office Systems. Now you have a choice. Make the right choice. Valley Office Systems. It's the holiday season at Sizzler. And we're celebrating with our classic two steaks for only $12.98. That's right. For a limited time, come in and get two complete steak dinners for only $12.98. Sizzler's hand-cut steak, 21-day age curve, just the way you like it, and served with any one of our 15 delicious sides, only $12.98 for a limited time. And don't forget our classic steak, and in the salad bar is still just $10.99. These offers end soon, so don't wait. Sizzler, values you can't do at home. It used to be when the dishwasher was running, conversation was challenging. I'd ask my husband, what do you want for dinner? His reply, yes, you look thinner. But when I asked him to bring home some Parmesan cheese, he brought home surround sound and a plasma TV. Well, he did get a great deal at Napa Appliance and TV, and I got a new Frigidaire dishwasher. Napa Appliance and TV, bringing you the best service selection and value. Go to the source, Napa Appliance and TV. While all your holiday visitors are clearing out, R.C. Willie's making some room too. It's time for some great savings at their big clearance sale. Enjoy clearance prices on major appliances. Save $200 on this LG washer, now $599, or get the pair for only $1199. Save $300 on this stainless steel refrigerator, now $999. Name brand appliances are in stock for immediate delivery. RC Willie, your home, your way. Today, 6 and Fox 9 are on your side, telling your stories. He is so enraged and so out of control. It is beyond scary. Examining issues in your community. He's five years old. It was like a jail cell. And then the teacher goes home. Helping make Idaho an even better place to live. I was really just kind of blindsided by it. They're not really offering anything. Have a story to tell? Go to IdahoOnYourSide.com and click On Your Side. Today 6 and Fox 9, On Your Side. So every night here on Fox 9 on Your Side, we like to take a closer look at the weather, especially when we're talking about inversions breaking up. And we're trying to figure out just how long we've had the inversion now. It's close to a week. Yeah. Yeah, it's it definitely feels been longer when it's a, at least four or five days that we've seen this inversion. Yeah. It's, it's been a nasty one, and uh, 
is finally going to break. And that's because we have an area of low pressure that's going to move in our direction. Temperatures right now looking like this at 21 degrees in Boise, 23 degrees in McCall. And that's typical of an inversion this time of year. As you go higher up in elevation, the warmer the temperatures get. The wind chill, a big factor right now. You can see that the wind chill in Twin Falls is 19 degrees right now. But the actual temperature in Twin Falls is 37 degrees. Why is that? Because there's an area of low pressure to the north and west of us, and winds are feeding into that area of low pressure, really picking up in the Twin Falls area. The inversion here has broken completely. The temperature in Twin Falls has risen 20 degrees from this time yesterday. In Boise, we have a wind of about five miles per hour, so the wind feeding into the area of low pressure that is to the north and west of us, not strong enough to break that inversion just yet. But as that low pressure system drops more to the south and west, those winds are going to pick up over the next 24 to 48 hours. By tomorrow afternoon, the inversion will be weakening greatly, and by Wednesday afternoon, we will be completely done with the inversion with an afternoon high of 43 degrees degrees and believe it or not by Wednesday afternoon all of the snow that we're seeing on the roadways right now will be gone. Hmm. So glad we shoveled. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Well you got your exercise. There you go. There Thanks you go. Steve. You Coming up next on Fox 9 on your side it can be a scary sight low flying aircraft above the nation's capital. We're going to show you why the government says it's all to protect the country from a terrorist attack. Need breaks? We do that. Life's just I just want to be left away. alone. I'm tired all the Why can time. I ever Nothing get what I want? Good. I can't sleep. All seasons understand you. Imagine something changing, feeling better and living better with All Seasons System of Care. Feel better by having a full physical exam and medication review. Live better through working with All Seasons to address your emotional well-being, family and couple issues, and behavioral health concerns. We're here to help. All Seasons Mental Health. Feel better. Live better. I don't want cheap flooring. Right. No extra charges. It was a kid from Lawn and Garden. Nickled and dined. I'm done with home centers. He's yeah. done. I wanted hassle-free. Guaranteed. Durable. Beautiful. Installed. It needs to stand up to my kids. Lots of kids. I got a puppy. I know just what you're looking for. Carpet One has what you want. Quality carpeting, stone, porcelain, tile, hardwood floors, and people who know their business. Carpet One, 1507 Main Street, Boise. Only minutes away from anywhere in the Treasure Valley, you'll find nearly 2,000 new and pre-owned vehicles and over 400 factory certified employees ready to assist you in your next purchase. With over 180 years of combined automotive experience, we are unmatched in selection. Enter now for a chance to win a pair of 2013 Boise State football season tickets. For details, visit participating dealerships, find us on Facebook or at IdahoCenterAutoMall.com. You'll find it here, the Idaho Center Auto Mall. Boise Gun Company has the most guns in the West with over 5,000 guns in stock. We love to buy, sell, and trade guns. Hunting season is here. Get that shotgun, handgun, or AR-15 you've always wanted. Boise Gun also offers gunsmithing and expert weapons training. We have two stores now, our Boise store at 4105 Adams Street and our new store next to the Franklin exit in Nampa. We're online at boisegun.com or call 208-376-4440. the land that's wild and free. Boise Gun Company. Eye-catching radiation tests are underway in Washington, D.C., so officials can be better prepared for a terror attack. Now, this is certainly something that you don't see every day. No. They're using low-flying helicopters, of all things, to measure normal radiation levels. Brian Todd explains. It's a head-turner, flying so low over the city that your first instinct is something's wrong. But it's part of a plan to safeguard Washington from a nuclear or dirty bomb attack. If sometime in the future uh, you have a reason to be looking for something radiological, it's very necessary to have the original background. Specially equipped helicopters flown by the National Nuclear Security Administration, partnering with the Department of Homeland Security, are looking for naturally occurring radiation. The helicopter flies in a back and forth pattern like a lawnmower, sometimes as low as just 150 feet off the ground. The idea is to create a map of the normal radiation levels of the city. Then 
When there's a specific threat of a nuclear or dirty bomb attack, if there's a threat like that, the government can look at the map, see what's normal, and then see what may be an anomaly. The choppers would be sent up again to check out the possible anomaly. If we got uh, some indication that something was different from the background, then we'd start uh, uh, narrowing it down with our, uh, with our investigation on foot and vehicle. As for what's normal radiation, Homeland Security expert Randy Larson says there's a lot of that in a city. The asphalt in this road right here puts out some gamma radiation. This building, large buildings like this built out of stone or granite, put out a certain amount of radiation. What else? Even here we are in McPherson Square, Washington, D.C. The monument, solid granite there. That puts out radiation. That's what we want to see what it looks like on a daily basis. It's gamma emitting radiation, Larson says, cobalt 60 and cesium 137 that's used at industrial and construction sites, in hospitals for medical treatment and testing, and can also be used in a dirty bomb. This helicopter is equipped with crystal-based gamma radiation sensing technology, two pilots, a scientist, and a technician on board. In case of an active threat, they may get an urgent call to scan a certain part of a city. We maintain a full array of uh, deployable teams uh, that uh, can deploy during the day within two hours uh, across the United States. Larson says it's critical that the government do this kind of testing because cities are especially vulnerable to dirty bombs. This is a, uh, a terrorist attack that we think is one of the more likely ones for them to do. Hmm. Games people have to play. Yes. Yeah. A game that Notre Dame had to play tonight? Oh, uh, seriously. Oh, boy. That's just That really wasn't brutal. much of a game, bombs. It? Yeah, I can't show you highlights yet, but uh, I'll tell you what the final score was, because I'm sure you already turned the game off. Uh, also, we're going to talk some Broncos basketball. They're prepping for their first Mountain West matchup. Preview Boise State's liaison and Laramie next in sports. At Goyka Chia Lofts, we live and work together in this community, your family and ours. We go to the same sporting events, the same churches, and the same community events, and we like it that way. If you're injured in a car wreck or on the job, you have legal rights the insurance company won't tell you about. Call our attorneys to find out more about your right for you and your family. We also speak Spanish. Usted tiene un amigo en Goyka Chia Law Offices, y no hay un cobro por una consulta legal. You have a friend at Goyka Chia Law Offices. with the Idaho Lottery for the love of bacon scratch game with a chance to win eight grand. This should keep things interesting and make it a Valentine's Day to remember who, baby. Why do patients from across America and around the world choose Boise Image Enhancement Center as their choice for aesthetic skin care? It's our patients' comments that reveal the most. You always seem to know exactly what my skin needs. See why Boise Image has become the local clinic with a global reputation for superior skin care results. Today I feel liberated and no longer self-conscious about my appearance. Boise Image Enhancement Center, smoothing out life's little imperfections. In the heart of downtown Boise, there is a place where memories are created, where greatness is discovered. It is a place where entertainment takes flight, the community rallies together. This is where the NBA dream starts. For more information and to purchase tickets, visit IdahoStampede.com. Kevin Bacon in a groundbreaking new thriller. The following January 21st on Fox. Now sports with sports director Paul Gerke. When a huge chunk of Boise State's defense was drafted into the NFL two years ago, Coach Peterson knew he'd have to rely on contributions from young players in 2012. Defensive end Sam Uguachu was one of the underclassmen who stepped up. 
And today, he was recognized for his efforts, earning freshman All-American honors from the Football Writers Association of America. Ukuwachu played in all 13 games for the Broncos, starting 12. He recorded 35 tackles, including seven for a loss, and chipped in four and a half sacks and three forced fumbles. If we're talking about young fellas making a mark at Boise State, Derek Marks is a prime example. The sophomore guard leads the Broncos in scoring, but lately, it's not a shot that's helping the team win. Marks is scoring over 16 points per game, but in his last three contests, he's only averaging about six points. That's because Derek is dishing, giving up, giving up open looks to get his teammates involved. He took just four shots against Corbin, five in Arlington, and only two against Walla Walla, a game in which Marks had a career-high nine assists. Coach Leon Rice says that sort of unselfishness makes Marks a unique player. You don't find many guys that are averaging 20 points a game that are willing to go into a game where he could probably, you know, he could have probably had 40. But his priority was his teammates, and he took two shots. I mean, I could have easily just went out there and scored or whatever, but I just, I just like seeing my teammates make shots, and, and I think it'll help us because they, we're going to need the confidence that they have right now. All 11 players that dressed against Walla Walla scored at least two points. Rice said he thinks the main reason for his team's success this year is its selflessness on the whole. We're talking about Derek, but it's not just Derek. They, they've all done that for each other, and that's why you have three guys that have scored 30 points. That's why you have Jeff that breaks the school record. That's why, you know, and they realize that that's the key to their success, and, and they bought into that, and, you know, that's so impressive for me as a coach to have guys that are willing to do that. The Broncos will have to continue to share the ball if they want to open Mountain West Conference play with a win. Boise State is headed to Laramie to face Wyoming on Wednesday. The Cowboys won both meetings against the Broncos last year. Head coach Larry Shiat emphasizes a ball control offense, eating up the shot clock and limiting the number of possessions. While the Broncos don't really run and gun that often, the Cowboys' style is still tough to play against. They frustrate so many teams they play, and uh, you know I think that's what they did to us last year. They completely frustrated us, and you know you watch that game of of our when we played them at Wyoming. You know we were down two with the ball, and it seemed like we were miles and miles behind them. Tip off between the Broncos and Cowboys set for 8 o'clock Wednesday. The game will be broadcast on Root Sports. Well, the Stampede took on the Texas Legends in the NBA D-League Showcase in Reno this afternoon, but Idaho saw its three-game winning streak snapped in a 104-84 loss. Nolan Smith led the Stampede with 28 points. The Idaho Steelheads will be without some big contributors this weekend. Austin Smith, Justin Dowling, and Jace Coyle all reassigned to the Texas Stars, the AHL affiliate of the Dallas Stars. Smith and Dowling were Idaho's top two scorers. Smith led the Steelies with 19 goals. Dowling's 46 points were a team best. Coyle chipped in 13 points from the blue line in his time with Idaho. Finally, if you were watching the BCS National Championship, you probably weren't watching for long. Alabama destroyed Notre Dame 42-14. A.J. McCarron threw four TD passes. The Tide scored six touchdowns on their first eight possessions. Okay, so the question How could becomes, any team in the country stop them right now? Uh, oh, well, that's that one is, good question. The other one Your is ducks? where does it, yeah, uh, the Ducks. And where does Notre Dame fall to? Uh, top 5, but like the bottom end, 4, 5. Maybe. I would think that's what so. I would think. Well, it depends on what poll you're talking about because if two? it's the A people, I think Oregon is too. If it's the A people, I think Ohio State becomes 3, but because huh. they weren't BCS eligible, nope. they it won't be right. that way in the other polls. Right. So it really depends on what you look at, but Notre Dame clearly shows tonight they weren't the contender that everyone wanted them to be. No. They were the pretender. Yeah, no one was really surprised by this. I'll anyway. have highlights <laughs> if you can call them that uh, on our sister station today 6 and 10. All right, here's a live look at Boise from the Ford Dealers Tower Cam. Not many cars out there. It's a good thing. And I like this. Yeah, Steve Liebenthal is going to be back at the final look at your weather coming up.
Idol delivers. Premieres Wednesday, January 16th on Fox. Thanks for stopping by. What's going on? We're just having breakfast. But this house has a lot of potential. Stake your claim to a delicious breakfast with McDonald's new steak and egg burrito. Get two for $3. Losing weight and being healthier isn't a fad. Join St. Luke's Humphreys Diabetes Center and Ladd Family Pharmacy for the next $10,000 Treasure Valley Weight Loss Challenge, where top losers from January to June share in a $10,000 cash prize. Register through January 20th at Ladd Family Pharmacy or St. Luke's Humphreys Diabetes Center in Meridian. Losing means winning in the $10,000 Treasure Valley Weight Loss Challenge, also supported by Axiom and Today 6 and Fox 9 on your side. Buy Factory Direct and save at Easy Chair Plus. Lift chair start at only $4.99. Comfort Air, the cleaner, healthier mattress that is germ resistant and will never develop mold and provides adjustable firmness control for back pain relief is at Easy Chair Plus. Cat Napper, America's most comfortable recliner and cozy of massage chairs are at Easy Chair Plus. Always, always check Easy Chair Plus at the corner of Glenwood and Shinden Boulevard. Same shopping center as Carl's Jr. Mary. I don't think Mary's coming back, actually. In a world where traditional high school does not work for everyone. Is that your old desk? Yeah, but not anymore. I'm sorry, desk. Traditional high school just doesn't work for me. I found something better. I succeed virtual high school. I'm moving forward, and I'm sorry, but I'm not looking back. Enroll now. Call 855-375-3116. Our innermost desire is the force that inspires us to find outright delight. With any size icy cold Coca-Cola, soft drink, or sweet tea for just a dollar. Closed captioning for Fox 9 on your side at 9. Brought to you by More Furniture for Less. A lot of people will be excited to have today just move on past for a Monday. Except for the kids who had a good time oh. out in the snow. But let's see uh, how it's going to be changing the next 24 hours. I think the whole thing is good news. First of all, we need more snow in the mountains. I like to ski whether we need the snow or not. Great news for skiers. And when you get a storm system, when there has been a ridge of high pressure in the valley, that means eventually the inversion is going to break. You can see that we do have some cloud cover, but not much in the way of showers. A chance of some fog in some locations tomorrow morning if those winds stay subsided. Morning low of 29. Afternoon high tomorrow gets up to 41 degrees. Even warmer on Wednesday at 43. The inversion will be broken by then. The snow will be off the road. And then the next storm system comes in on Thursday with more snow, which we need. Yep. Exactly. The cup is half full. Bring it in, get rid of it. Have a good, good night, night, everyone.